Hi everyone, just wanted to show you the new Kling Elements feature, which got released today. This lets you put up to four elements into a scene. These can be either characters, clothes, objects, backgrounds, or any combination of things. Basically allowing you to achieve character consistency in video, which has been a desired feature since AI video generation began. So 2025 is off to an amazing start. All you need to do is upload your images and write a text prompt. A quick tip though, the image selection size has to be in either 5x4 or 4x5 resolution, which is for instance 1440 width by 1152 height. I had to re-crop my images in order to get them to work with elements. But you can see from the output that the character and background stayed the same. The sword is a little bit different, but it may have had trouble with the lighting of it in my original picture. We can also have two characters in the same scene. For instance, if we take the same woman and add in this man, then get them to hug, you can see it's able to put both characters in the scene. I noticed in this one that it didn't follow my background but I didn't specify the background in my prompt, so you may just have to play around with it to get exactly what you want. If we have a read through the guide, the elements feature is now available with the Keeling AI 1.6 model for image to video generation. Upload one to four images, select the subjects, people, animals, objects or scenes in the images as elements and describe their actions and interactions. Then we have an image of the elements feature Interestingly, there's another feature here called Effects, which we don't have access to at the moment. Scrolling down, we've got a bit more info covering some of the things you can add to the scene, such as multiple characters and clothing. Then we've got some examples here. On this one, we've got a woman, a crystal crown, and a stage, which gives this output. I think the crown looks kind of big, but there was no reference for scale in the original image. The next one shows a cat a leather jacket and some sunglasses, which gives this output, which looks pretty good. The next example is a bichon frise wearing a red floral coat, which gives this output. It's really cool how it manages to dress the dog whilst keeping the consistency of the jacket. Next, we've got this man, a background and a cup, and here's the output. Really useful to get consistent items in scenes. Scrolling down, We've got a few more examples. In this one, we have two women and the prompt is hugging each other, which gives this output. Before this feature, it's been really hard to get two different characters in the same scene. Then we've got this boy and a Pegasus, which gives this output. It's great to see elements work with more than just humans. And here we've got a cartoon man and a bear showing it working with different styles too. I'm really looking forward to using this new tool and seeing what everyone makes with it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.